Hey guys, welcome to Spoiler Talk, and right now I'm going to, you know, give you a fair warning, spoiler alert, you know, duh. I have to do that, you know, because then there's going to be somebody that's going to complain, you spoiled the movie for me, but, you know, that's what we're here to do. I'm here to ruin the movie for you if you haven't seen it. So make sure you have seen Captain America Civil War before you watch this video. So anyway, let's get started. So as I said in my to see or not to see review, my only nitpicks in the movie were spoilers. And I didn't want to spoil anything for you there, but now we can talk about it here. So I am going to pick at this movie a little bit. Okay, first off, I just wanted to say I really feel like they wasted crossbones in this movie. I really, really wanted to see crossbones crossbones, like, really go at it with Captain America throughout the movie, I think they should have kept him around, because he dies right in the beginning of the movie, and, you know, while it does lead to, like, some great questions that they finally bring up, is that, you know, wow, people do die during these battles, are the Avengers causing more harm than good and everything, which is great that they brought that up, I mean, this is something that needs to be addressed in superhero movies, and that Marvel, with, you know, a little... Got a little bit too squeaky clean for a while that I was like, yeah, they really do need to address that. And they did it great here. They really did. After that, I feel like they kind of wasted General Ross's character. I kind of wish that they got a little bit more of him because it was nice to see William Hurt back as General Ross, and I really wanted to see more of him. And I also want to tell you that the Civil War thing, like the whole like Superhero Registration Act and everything, it takes a backseat to like, you know, the... Uh, you know, the everything else and that goes on in the movie because they do have to address a lot of things from Winter Soldier like with Bucky and everything but you know, it's still like, it's still there and it's still a big driving force in the movie, it's just not the forefront. One thing that I forgot to mention in my review was Black Panther. Black Panther in this movie, easily one of the best parts of the movie, I can't wait to see a Black Panther movie, I mean it was just great the action was great, I love the suit and I love the, just, I just love the character now for my biggest problem with the movie which is a big spoiler and that is that Captain America doesn't die. Yeah, I was really disappointed about that. And I love Captain America. I have loved the movies. I just think, though, that this would have been a perfect time to kill him off. Like I said, I think Marvel's been a little bit too squeaky clean with some of their movies lately. I was like, this is a gritty movie, and it was just would have been so perfect to see Cap get killed, and then Bucky take over as Captain America, and then they could bring Steve Rogers back for the Infinity Wars movie. It just would have been so perfect if they've done that, but... They didn't. I knew that they weren't going to do it right in the beginning of the movie when Crossbones died. I was like, yep, yeah, we're not going to see Cap die. But then I actually thought at the end with this great and epic fight that was going on between Captain America and Iron Man and Bucky. I mean, this was one of the greatest superhero fights I've ever seen. It was just amazing. But yeah, that would have been a perfect moment to kill Captain America right there. Like, maybe, like, Iron Man tries to shoot or kill Bucky, and then Cap jumps in the way, and he dies, and then we could have gotten that cool epilogue-type thing from the Civil War comic, where, like, Iron Man's just, like, sitting there next to Steve Rogers' body, and he starts crying, and he goes, in the end, it just all wasn't worth it. And that really would have just showed that, like, their friendship and everything. But they do such a good job in this movie anyway. I, you know, can't gripe about it. One of the great scenes in the movie is when uh, War Machine gets shot out of the sky by Vision. And he hits the ground. And you just see that look on Tony Stark's face. He looks out at the distance. He's just like, oh, I'm going to kill you. And you just see that look in his eyes like, Oh man, shit just got even more real than it already was. Also, like I said, like I love seeing Ant-Man in this movie, and we finally got to see Giant Man. It was great. Like he says, "Hey, I got this like trick I could do," and he like went Psh, and he just like grew huge and everything. Oh, it was so awesome. The whole airport battle was just great. This is like just a superhero rumble and everything. It reminded me of like some of those movies where you just get like you know the monster rumble and like Godzilla and everything. This was like destroy all monsters superhero edition and it was just great and it was great seeing spider-man like you know fanboying out and everything because this is what he do he's a person he's a kid he's a human being he's not mopey he's not emo he's not anything he's not a hipster he's just a kid who has superpowers and he's enjoying himself he's like the starstruck among all these superheroes guys we also find out in this movie that bucky killed Iron Man's parents. He killed Tony Stark's parents. And when we first find that out, like, they did it in such a great way that the way they reveal it and everything in the movie. And when you find that out, I was like, oh, no. Like, there was, like, the, there's so many moments where you're just like, shit's about to go down in this movie. And at first, it's just like, you know, first you get the whole, like, war machine, like, getting paralyzed and everything. And then it moves up to this. And, like, at that ending part, like, in that final battle when that happens, I was just like, Oh, somebody's not getting out of here alive. 
But they all do. But this was really great for Iron Man's character, though, because I just think he's become, like, lately, a, just a one-liner spurning machine, and it's just great to see him. Like, I felt like he just... This movie did him more justice than, I think, any of his own movies did. I mean, it was just great to see that. Robert Downey Jr. just gave such a great performance in this movie. God, I love it! Overall, I think this movie just would have been, you know, just perfect if Cap died, but... Then again, the movie's just fine the way it is. It's still a great movie. I still loved it. I still loved everything about it. Like I said in my To See or Not To See review of it, I cannot do it justice enough. It's just such a good movie. Just go watch it. Go watch it again. I know, because like, most of you guys have probably already watched it if you're watching this video. Go watch it again. I mean, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go watch it again. Yeah. So... I'm going to go get some tickets and uh, go see Captain America Civil War again. So, uh, yeah. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. You can also go to my Artist Corner channel and check out my drawing videos of me drawing a picture of Captain America Civil War. It's coming out very well. I just finished the penciling. I'm hoping you have the inking up in a couple days. So you can go ahead and check that out on my Artist Corner channel. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.